Remember when you went to the concert and you left the arena to go to the bathroom and that whole echo thing? Yeah. Seriously, it just reminded me of like being at a coliseum and at least they can sing. It's karaoke. Okay, we need to talk. Now it seems like nothing you've ever heard after that sentence has ever been good. Sit down, we need to talk. Come on, we need to talk. I need to talk to you. It's never usually, it's never usually a good sign. But today's different, it's not bad. I just, I've had a whole lot of, I've had a whole lot of people coming to me and asking me a lot of questions about moving to Thailand, just up and moving to Thailand, because they, they say, oh, I just want to do what you did. I just want to just go to Thailand. Hold on, I gotta see Joy. Joy. A lot of males about money. A lot of mail about having to get rid of stuff. How do you just up and come? A lot of emails about being nervous and wanting to know almost exactly how I did it. What's going on there? Squirrel! I really should have brought sunglasses. So I just wanna talk about that today. I wanna to talk about you moving to Thailand. Most of you guys want to move to Thailand. Uh, I've met many of you and either you either you have been here and you want to move here or and you're trying to figure out a way to live in Thailand. Or a lot of people are just trying to figure out how to get over here to Thailand. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a bucket list. There's a common thread that I get from a lot of the emails that I've been receiving and that is nervousness uh, a lot of people are like I'm just I want to do it but I'm just nervous about it so I'm constantly getting asked how did you do it Rob so I've went over this before but I just want to I just want to address it again because a lot of questions here lately boy that tide is out that's a bunch of rocks it's another hot day one of the main things that I noticed a lot that a common thread in all the questions is a nervousness to just leave it all. I have been told so many times how big my balls are for just doing what I did. Okay, it was a ballsy move, but let me explain more about me. Let me explain a little bit more about me and my life before Thailand because I think it would make more sense if you understood how I lived in America. The last 10 years that I lived in America, I lived five of those with my ex-girlfriend. She was established. She had her own condo. She had her own furniture. She had her own belongings. I just moved in. I basically had uh, two dresser drawers in the bedroom and a closet in the guest room. So when we split up, I basically had two, two bags of luggage. Honestly, about the same as I do today. The five years after that, I had roommates and they were already established. So I didn't have in Florida furniture, a lot of stuff. I did not have a lot of stuff for 10 years. I did not have a lot of stuff. So even though I did have personal attachments, I really didn't have physical attachments. A lot of people have stuff. So you would actually have to sell your stuff or, or make arrangements to get rid of all your stuff and then come to Thailand. That's completely more difficult to do. And also you have to remember, and also you have to remember, I didn't plan to move to Thailand. I came over here for a three month vacation. But again, remember, my girlfriend had broken up with me. The place, my lease was up and non-renewable where I lived. So basically I was kicked out. Then I lost my job. I didn't have anything to lose by coming to Thailand for a couple of months. I came over just, just because I had said, if everything falls apart, I'm going to Thailand. And I kept my own promise to myself. My friends knew for years I had been hinting that if all falls through, I'm gonna go to Thailand. I didn't mean permanently. I just meant I'm gonna go to Thailand because 
Well, why not? You know, Thailand's beautiful. Why not come to Thailand? Look at the women here. Oh my gosh. And it was only when I got over here that I realized I just love this place. So I was trying to figure out how I could actually get to stay here. That's when this took off, the YouTube thing. The 20 Seconds in Thailand started in the videos because it was fun and I was documenting my vacation holiday in Thailand. Which leads me to the next thing that I want to talk about. A lot of, a lot of the questions coming in, a lot about uh, money. How much did I bring over? How much does it cost to live here? And there's many videos out on this, many, many videos out on this. Actually, the best one, if you want to talk about budgeting, the best site that I think would be Retire Cheap Asia, which is JC. I think he lives up north. And that's all he's dedicated to is how to live, how to live economically in Thailand. That's all he's done, I think, for five, ten years. I don't know how long he's been doing it. But people have asked me consistently, how much money did I bring over? And that's irrelevant. I didn't bring over a lot. I didn't have a lot of savings. I didn't have a lot to bring over. So I brought over enough for like a two or three month holiday. That's exactly what I brought over. I, the dollar amount doesn't matter. It depends on how you live. If you come over here and you want to stay at the Marriott, you need to bring more money. You need to calculate how much it's going to cost you per day. If you're going to go uh, traveling and buying tours around here, that's going to cost a lot more too. But the money thing is, can you get a job here? Can you? Do, yeah, you can. You can research it. If if you want to teach English, you could find teaching an English job. The best advice I could get is find a job in your country that has job openings over here. And then you get hired in your country, come over here and work through that company. It's just a whole lot easier to get hired probably in your own country and come over here rather than coming over here and then, then trying to find work. But you could open a business over here. When 20 Seconds in Thailand took off, I made a Patreon page to tell everybody. I'm like, look, if you really like these videos, I understand, but there's no way possible for me to stay in Thailand. I don't have enough money. So I opened the Patreon account. I put the, the goal on there. I said I need 1,000 US dollars a month to stay in Thailand to afford just to set this camera up and show you the beach. And lo and behold, wow, did you guys came through. My Patreon supporters, my PayPal supporters, every one of you that support me is the only reason that 20 Seconds in Thailand is still here. So I really want to thank you again. And speaking of, big shout out to Rick, Felix, and Marco, John and Alyssa, thank you. Michael, Paul, Alan, Scott, another Paul, and Raymond. Oh, and there is a new Patreon, but I haven't got the email that told me your name yet. So you're on the next list. These people make 20 seconds in Thailand. You are 20 seconds in Thailand. If that goes away, 20 seconds in Thailand goes away. Financially, people have been asking me, how do you support yourself here? That's it. The Patreon, the PayPals, the supporters, the viewers, you guys do it. In a nutshell, I didn't plan on living over here in Thailand. My Patreons asked me to. Thank you again. I love it when you guys tell me that you enjoy this channel so much. So, and the thumbs up. The thumbs up is just a, a nice way for me to know that you that you liked it. Because a lot of people that are watching this channel, maybe they are, maybe they won't ever be able to come over here. As a matter of fact, I has I had some bad news the other day that someone that watched my channel unfortunately passed away, but was watching and it was coming over because of my channel. That's extremely uh that's extremely emotional and personal to me. But back to the point of getting over here and being nervous. If you have a personality that you live safely, like you, uh, everything has to be thought through, checked out, verified, stamps, guarantees, it's going to be very difficult for you probably to get over here, at least permanently. Because the way I think in life is almost the way the Thai people think in life. Tomorrow's a whole nother day. Tomorrow may not work out. If the Patreons fall through tomorrow, I've got to figure something else out. Am I worried about it? There's no reason for me to worry. Worrying doesn't do anything. It doesn't help me plan for tomorrow. You guys in your comments help me plan better than, than anything else when you, you know, like go here and go there. The thing that I had to do and I had to learn was not to live in fear anymore. I used to fear about losing my girlfriend. I used to fear about losing my job. I used to fear if I was making a good decision on a vacation or the best price for the flight. But yeah, I used to fear everything 
I used to try to I used to try to micromanage my life like to the T. And then I realized that that was impossible. There's no way I'm ever going to micromanage my life because life always changed it on me. The harder I tried to make something work, the worse it, the, the just the worst results I ever got. Remember when we all made that good decision about that girl? Mmm, how'd that work out? Even like the distance over here. My parents were worried when I first came over here that I was so far away from home. But when I lived in the States, I rarely ever saw them and I was in the States. You have a brother or sister lives right down the road probably and you don't ever probably see them. I talk to more of my family now probably than I did when I was in the States, give or take. So I recommend just go and get a ticket for whatever season that you want. It's cheaper in the rainy season now than it will be in the non-rainy season. So up to you on when you want to come. But you can see right now, I mean, it rains once or twice a day here. Yeah, but right now we're just getting like that 20 minute shower and then it goes away here in, here in Phuket. But come over here, come check it out. Come in Kamala and say hello. Or go up north to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. Uh, check it out, see if you like it. And if you do, then just plan the next step. Go back home. Make a strategy, figure it out. My strategy was made for me when I opened up the Patreon account. I think what I want to get across more than anything is don't overthink it. Don't over worry about it. And don't worry about tomorrow so much. You know, just make a small trip, plan one day at a time, one step, just keep breathing in and out. But just be aware, which is why I moved tables a minute ago, if you're sitting under palm trees with coconuts, Then switch tables. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody. Don't Go forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. The other thing that some people do over here that I think is pretty cool is they'll actually rent a house for like a year and they'll get the price as low as they can get it over here. They don't get a different visa. They just still come over here for like three months. Then they'll go back home but they already have a place here. They can stay at home for whatever and then they can come back here. They already have a place. That's, that's not a bad idea either.